What's up guys, Epic John Twizon here, and I'm just here to give you a little update on my little PVC uh, gimbal stabilizer. Uh, as you can see, the gimbal stabilizer is now black. Uh, in a few minutes I'll show you uh, that whole process. I time-lapsed it, so it'll be pretty cool to see. Uh, but quick notes, uh, I changed the corner angles to uh, T's just so it's a little bit more stable when you lay it down. It'll be, uh, it wouldn't be like as rocky if you were to just let it down and just have the gimbal stay uh, straight. Um, I did tap this metal bracket before it was just this one bolt, but I added a second one just to help uh, stabilize it instead of it uh, rotating a little bit. I also added a little spring-loaded uh, screw here in case I wanted to add a uh, LED light which if you've seen the past videos, I have one of those. I put it on the RC car and uh, I use it for a lot of dark uh, lighting. Uh, but that eventually will go on top of there. And um, just to keep everything from separating, I duct tape around this whole frame. The only uh, part I didn't duct tape shut is this and this. So that allows me to pull that apart and fold it up so it'll be a little bit more compact when I when I travel. Uh, but other than that, I'm pretty happy with it right now. Uh, the only thing I need to do is get some bicycle grips and put those over there. Uh, I did use this at an event, but it was a little bit dark, so I won't post that footage. Um, but uh, I will take some more test footage at actual events, probably with better lighting, and uh, so you'll be able to see how it handles. But this was definitely a lot easier to maneuver using both hands, raising it up all the way, uh, twisting it very, very uh, smoothly. Uh, and yeah, I had no issues. Uh, so yeah, that's the update on the uh, DIY PVC GoPro gimbal stabilizer. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below and I'll be able to answer them really quickly. Uh, other than that, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.